staffed, guarded, and empty. Tonight, only KITV exposes how at least $100,000 each month of your hard-earned money is going toward running an empty state juvenile facility. Well, it's money that advocates believe should go to help troubled teens. Instead, they say it's money going down the drain. KITV's Adam McCousin is digging into this. He joins us with tonight's Waste Watch investigation. And we're investigating this because it's on your tab. Everyone I've talked to says the Juvenile Justice Department has done everything in their power to try to make things right and is being forced to spend money that really could go to other places. Some believe it's the people who are elected that aren't playing nice with your money. In the town of Corsicana, the streets lined with old brick buildings that true Texas feel. But this tiny town has an expensive problem that the state's most powerful leaders know about. From serious financial mismanagement. I think the taxpayers would be outraged. Each month, 100,000 of your tax dollars spent to operate a juvenile facility that sits empty. This is pretty typical of the housing arrangements uh, here on Corsicana. The Corsicana Residential Treatment Center was set up in the late 1800s as the Texas Orphan Asylum. This 100-acre facility later evolved into a residential treatment center for emotionally disturbed youth. It was home to some of the most violent and disturbed kids. That is, until it became dangerously run down. They had uh, several really um, disturbing incidents of self-harm. December 2013, the last day of operation, still on this whiteboard, just as everyone was moved out, except about two dozen staff members. We've been told uh, that they would come back down and, and get a few more things and, and kind of clean up. It just hasn't happened. But even shuddered, the abandoned center still has life. They're expending some resources, some funds that frankly they don't have in their budget to keep the facility open. When the facility was in full operation, they were tasked with looking after about 90 youths. At the time, there were more than 200 people on staff. Then came the decision to move the kids to other facilities. While the facility's future is uncertain, there are still 25 staff members here today. A lockup facility with top-notch security. But why? That was me on camera. Thanks. And I was the big threat of the day. The cost to taxpayers to run Corsicana for March? $116,000. Even more the month like before. This, this is operations where we house all the uh, folks today like HR, the few business people that are left here. And so who decides what's next? Only this handful of lawmakers, headed up by the second and third most powerful politicians in Texas, the Legislative Budget Board, or LBB. The writer implicitly said, you don't do a thing until we tell you to. According to the Juvenile Justice Department, the Legislative Budget Board members have made no decisions. That's costing money and putting people's lives and a town in limbo. Even though the Juvenile Justice Department's own report says it's in poor condition, expensive to fix, and continues to pose a risk. Don't need to reopen Corsicana. And in fact, we need to close Corsicana of not only the kids that have been removed, but also the 25 employees. The former director of the agency recently told a legislative committee its hands are locked up until the Legislative Budget Board makes a decision. In a statement, they said in part, all youth housed at the facility were relocated in December 2013 due to youth safety issues. The agency awaits further direction from the LBB. The LBB was responsible then for approving the report and, yes. and approving the closure, basically. And well, here we are, uh, <laughs> April of 2014, and the facility is still, by all, uh, by all assessments, still open. Exactly why remains unclear. Both Lieutenant Governor David Dewhurst and House Speaker Joe Strauss have publicly voiced concerns about closing the facility and allowed it to remain open. So the ones you elected and pay to make the tough decisions with your money are dragging their feet. And while they talk, you pay. Taxpayer funds, that's right. It's my money, it's your money, our money that is being used. 
and in a statement, a representative with the Speaker's office said, in part, the Speaker and Lieutenant Governor continue to discuss with members of the House and Senate opportunities to utilize this facility in a new role that will positively benefit youth in the juvenile justice system. We also reached out to the representative from that district who has been fighting to keep it in use somehow, but we never heard back.